Hi everyone, my name's Jo Harris and today we're going to be exploring what is numeracy, numeracy. So what is the definition of numeracy? Well, it's a noun. So it's a noun, which means that it's a naming word other than a pronoun being he, she, they. So anything that you use to name a class of people, places or things. And by definition, numeracy is the ability to understand and work with numbers. So the origin of the word is from Latin numeratus, which means counted out, which comes from the word numerous, which is a number. And when we are, uh, have numeracy skills, we become numerate. Is, so you are a numerate. Isn't that funny? And the um, source for this was the Oxford Dictionaries, which is listed here, the website. So what is the syllabification of, of this word, which is numeracy? And that is num er a c which helps you pronounce it. And numeracy is part of the Australian curriculum. And the Australian curriculum states that students become numerate, which means they, they, have, they have abilities with numbers, as they develop the capacity to recognise and understand the role of maths in the world around them and have the confidence, willingness and ability to apply maths to your lives in ways that are constructive and meaningful. Makes sense, doesn't it? And it's one of seven general cap capabilities that you as a student are developing at school. So why is numeracy important? Well, it's important to learn because it's really important to understand the role of maths in your world and to manage everyday situations such as money. Every time you're paying for something and calculating the change that you're going to get or working out how much money you need to budget to um, live within your means, being the, the pay that you get, um, you're using your number skills, like paying your bills. You use it when you're communicating and that you're not stuck in ice like that phone, which is cold calling, that you understand and be able to read instructions like how to replace the water in your fish tank, which is an activity that we're going to, you can watch later on in a video that I've made. And it's also about how to understand and work out and balance your till. If you're working as a checkout operator, for example, um, like I did when I was in high school, I used to work at the local um, news agency and I had to be responsible for the money in my till in terms of the, the balance that I had when I started the day and the balance that I had at the end of the day to work out what the income was for the shop. And it's about individuals who can calculate, like for example, have I got enough time to get to the movies and when will it finish and how much is the ticket going to cost if I need to buy five tickets and they're $7 each, uh, that I understand numbers. So I understand what five fifty percent and $5 means, for example, that I'm able to portion and divide, like cut up a pizza so if six people get a piece each, uh, that I have spatial reasoning, that I can work out the size of things. For example, select the right cake tin to bake my batter in, um, that I'm able to have statistical literacy, meaning that I understand fractions, decimals, ratios and rates, and that I'm able to measure, for example, cooking, uh, sewing, fencing a yard, what size tarp to buy to cover my trailer. Um, and these are all from the Australian curriculum, which is this website here that you can access if you wish. So what if I'm innumerate? What would the world be like? I think you'd have a bit of a hard time understanding the world around you if you don't understand numbers, don't you think? And what would what happens if you've got learning needs? For example, you have dyslexia and you can't read the numbers, then you're going to be like a friend of mine recently. He paid his electricity bill instead of paying 100 and I think it was uh, – $150, he was paying a bill, he paid $1,500 off the bill. So you put an extra zero, an extra digit in there. So, you know, that would make life a bit difficult. Um, and if you had some visual impairment, you had trouble reading the numbers, it would make life hard for you. So that's numeracy. Um, I look forward to reading your thoughts, comments and suggestions below. Bye for now, Joe Harris.